Hey y'all, Chuck here in Nakhon Phanom, Thailand. Just went on a bike ride today up here. We're leaving in about two days to go to our trip to Koh Chang. Yeah. Commercial. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just sitting here having an awesome lunch. Uh, one of my favorite dishes, Yamu Ya. Of course, uh, I don't know why, but beer tastes so much better after a long bike ride but i'm spending the night here tonight i told Paige this morning i was going to go on a bike ride clear some thoughts and uh, just enjoy the day i i don't know about you guys but i need my me time i need my own space uh, i need to get away i like to come sit here and just look into the river the view is always beautiful right here but as you can see it's very smoky still so this is a, uh, a problem right now, this time of year, but it causes a lot of respiratory problems with the smoke and the dust because of the lack of rain. We had some pretty good rain the last couple days, but uh, it's still smoky. And the reason for this video today, it's a blah, blah, blah video. I wanna share something with you. And yesterday I was sitting at the computer reading some comments like I always do. Okay, cop. And um, I was going over some comments and I get a lot of comments kind of on the same line of disappointments in life. They want to share to me their bad experiences in life in general, in Thailand especially. And I appreciate that it's good to hear the good and the bad. A lot of people don't understand why I don't show the bad. Well, I do show a lot of things, but I show them in my own way because I try to be positive on, on everything in general. Anyway, I don't like really negativity, but I was reading the comment and I told Paige, I'm going to go make a video. And she goes, about what? So I read the comment to her. And then I told her my reaction. I said, I'm going to go down to the river and I'm going to share some thoughts on this. And she goes, OK, just wait a minute. I was like, why, what's wrong? She goes, um, it's the way that you talk, I think. I think you probably should just wait and make the video another time. And we've had plenty of conversations like this in the past. So she goes, it's just that, you know, when you disagree with somebody, sometimes you, you make them feel stupid or you say they're stupid and it offends people and they might not appreciate it. I'm like, well, I guess I could understand that. As a lot of times when I do make these videos i do lose quite a bit of subscribers but i mean i respect Paige. you know i i ask her a lot of questions and i share my thoughts especially for thai people because i don't want to offend any thai people you know they think a lot different than us so a lot of times when we're unhappy with something or, or we're very sarcastic about things and they don't quite understand sarcasm so we gotta be careful what we say. The problem is, is my mouth has gotten me in trouble quite a bit through my life because I just, I guess you could say I just vomit my words. I just, whatever I'm thinking, I say. I don't mean things hateful by, you know, we all have these thoughts that you're glad the other person's not a mind reader. Well, with me, I just say it. <laughs> it's not the thing to do, but you know, hey, you know what's on my mind, right? And a lot of times I think back and go, eh, I probably, shouldn't have said that i don't think that really went too well you know maybe i shouldn't have said that you know it's too late to apologize i can't really edit it out you know it's it's done and it's over i respect Paige and i listen to her and 
here I am today and I want to talk to you guys about a com certain comments that really, I mean, I just want to share my opinion as an expat living overseas and, and just a different side. And maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you'll think about it. I don't know, or maybe not. I saved it on my phone, so let me, let me read it to you. Gotta put my eyeballs in. This comment is from somebody named Rob Smith, and I'm not picking on Rob. I've had quite a few, I've had quite a few comments similar to this, but I like his comment, so I'm gonna share it with you. So, no offense, Rob, if that's your name. Unemployment in the tourism areas have risen 60%. The bot is strong now, which has stopped a lot of the Europeans and Australians traveling to Thailand. The Thai government has taken more interest in the Chinese. The phrase, don't put all your eggs in one basket, comes to mind. I have been a regular traveler to Thailand for 20 years and now go to Vietnam and Cambodia. I will try the Philippines next. Good luck and keep filming your videos. I appreciate the honesty of this comment and uh, I appreciate the fact that he is uh, taking his own responsibility and his own happiness and his own search for, uh, you know, whatever makes him happy. But here's how I think. I would personally do that myself if I was a single person. I would just travel around and enjoy life, not try to anchor down and settle in in a country like Thailand where I can never be permanent here anyway. So, but I'm married, my situation's a little bit different. I respect the fact that he takes responsibility for his own actions. So I think that's what you really need to do. I think that you should just, uh, if you're not happy with something, you gotta do something to fix the problem. You can't sit around and blame the situation on the government on the woman, on the job, whatever whatever it is. You can't, you know, if you're in a relationship where the woman wants to take your money or, you know, or and the family wants your money and, and you spend all your money, well, that's kind of your fault for doing that. You should know your limitations first off. So uh, you gotta really be careful with that. And if it happens to you, learn from your mistakes and move on. A lot of people are complaining about the Thai government. It's still, it's not our country. So, you know, whatever they do is to benefit themselves and we have to learn to adapt and, and figure out a way to make it work for us. You know, if it can't work, then we gotta go somewhere else, you know? But a lot of people are upset about the 800 bot uh, that you have, in a, you have to have an account in Thailand. A lot of them used agencies and, you know, now they're cracking down on fraudulent, you know, that. Anyway, that's a whole nother drawn out story. But my point is, is that if you don't want to bring your money over here, then don't just blame it on Thailand. Oh, Thailand sucks. Figure out a way to make it work for you. Like go back to your home country every year and apply for your visa and come to Thailand. That way you don't have to bring your money over here because you're getting it approved in your own country. Or another example is, uh, young cop, young. What was I saying? Uh, get your, oh, you could come to Thailand six months out of the year on a tourist visa. Three months one time, go across the border, go to Laos, go to Cambodia, go to Vietnam, uh, apply for another tourist visa after a couple of months and come back. You could spend half the year here on a tourist visa. Or you could travel back and forth and you know get a 30 day, 15 day, just be flexible. Just play the game. I look at everything like a game. Life is a game. You try to figure out how to play the game, you get better at it, and then you use it to your advantage. Don't be a victim to Thai regulations, Thai immigration rules. If it doesn't fit your needs, your happiness, then figure out a way to rise above it and go, okay, you're not gonna get me, I'll figure out another way to do this, and just do it. Whatever that, whatever it is, just figure out a way to do it because that everything changes in life, and if you don't change, then you're a victim. You're, you just become a victim, and that's what I get all the time on the comments: is I'm a victim. Everybody's out to get me. Everything sucks. Everybody's all the same. You know, that's just sitting there feeling sorry. I talk to thousands of people every two weeks, at least a thousand comments. Uh, conversations through emails and through messenger and stuff like that and I'm not a psychiatrist I'm not an expert on anything 
Uh, I have my own, a lot of personal experiences and I have a lot of experience that I carry over from other people and I really like to help people out and just, you know, give them a different perspective and make them think for themselves that we just, we got to be responsible for our own actions. Don't be a victim to, you know, a, a beautiful Thai woman that's only in a relationship with you for money and you really don't have the money to provide her or her family and it's making you unhappy. Just play the game get in get out you don't have to have a permanent relationship here period until you find that perfect person okay past videos i know i've lost a lot of subscribers on my blah 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 videos i think most of you guys appreciate who know me who've watched a lot of my videos you know kind of how i think and i just say what's on my mind and i really don't mean it most of the time i'm glad i don't speak fluent thai my mother-in-law probably would kick me out of house. some of the smart aleck things i say you know there but it's just my nature. I think a lot of Western people are like that. And hey, you know, what can you do? So I try to be a better person. I try to look at things in a positive way. I always try to look at another. You see something and you got an idea because that's from your experience. But there's always another. There's always a reason or another side to the story. And those are the things that I try to I try to find out in life. And then uh, I try to make it work for me. I try not to overthink things like most everybody does because a lot of this is just overthinking so uh just take it for what it is and, and move forward if things don't work out for me then i'm just going to go away uh, my relationship with my wife is perfect uh, i don't have any issues if things change tomorrow i'm not going to leave thailand and, and just hate an entire country uh, or culture because i you know i got the wrong end of a deal or a misunderstanding or I just wasn't happy so uh, I'm just going to learn from my mistakes and I'm going to move forward and that's just what I suggest so anyway I just wanted to share that little bit of information with you uh, just try to do things that benefit you in life and uh, complaining over the internet it's healthy to get it out but it only really affects you uh, whatever you say, you know, may make you feel better by saying that. But I think ultimately you got to try to figure out a way to to make it work. Wherever you are at in the world, if you're not happy in Thailand, you're probably not going to be happy in a lot of places. So Thailand's definitely not for everybody. <sighs> anyway, guys, I hope you come with us to the Kult Chang trip. It's going to be super fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for listening to me. Blah, blah, blah. Kap kuna kap. Chok di kap. Lao chok in mai. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.